Would you like to get your Moringa trees directly from me this year? I'm going to show you exactly how we're preparing our 2024 season of Moringa trees to go out in the mail across the entire country. We have hundreds of interested growers that are excited for getting their Moringa operation started this year. And we have a beautiful set of Moringa trees that are now almost ready to be shipped. It's just missing one final step before we put them in the mail. We wanna make sure that they have a big enough tuber so that way when we do put them in the mail, they're not as stressed out. And that way when you receive them and you put them in a pot or put them in the ground, they have enough potential energy stored in that tuber to be able to shoot up a whole new stem because we're gonna send them in the mail without any greens on them. So that way when you put them in the pot they re or in the ground, they'll restart all new fresh greens for you within just a few weeks. Since I wanted to get a head start on the spring season, I planted them on Valentine's Day, February 14th. But it took them almost 30 days to sprout during this time period because the weather was still not above 70 degrees Fahrenheit overnight. So I planted them in the greenhouse. That way they had some added protection. On the very, very cold nights, I even added a heater in this room. And now that it's warmed up a little bit, pretty much now that it's almost summer, we have a very short window of spring. These babies are now starting to really sprout up really great. I'm gonna zoom in close for you so you can see the next and final step that we're going to take to get these trees ready and big enough to put them in a box and ship them directly to you. These are 3,000 Moringa trees that are going to be going in the mail and shipped all across the country. Let's go ahead and see exactly what we need to do for the final step in getting these Moringa trees big enough so that way they can survive the trip and the shock of going in the mail for a few days and arriving to your front door. Let's go ahead and hop in. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing to the Grow Moringa YouTube channel hit that like button, hit the subscribe, get all the notifications because we are the premier YouTube channel in the entire world that is teaching you every step that you need to become a successful Moringa grower so that way you have extra income and you can start your Moringa business. Let's get right in here. I have a perfect example of how we're going to get these trees bigger before we ship them. You can see here that she has two leaves, two stems, two leaf stem structures. These are the first leaves that popped up. You can see they're also starting to yellow out. They're a very short living leaf. These are the very first leaves that came out of the tree. And so they're not a a permanent leaf. None of these Moringa leaves are very permanent. They're very soft, whimsical, wispy, light, airy, and uh, that's also why they're very good for circulation and, and good things in the body to help get things moving because they like to float in the wind. Now, the energy is going to continue to shoot up into this tree, but I need to get the root systems big enough so that way they have a root tuber, and before I pull them out of the ground, they have a storage of energy potential energy in the root system so that way when they arrive to you at your front door they're going to be able to re-sprout and restart much easier because they have a essentially a tuber uh, a potato um, starchy energy sugary it's it's where it stores all of the energy and why it's this drought tolerant tree is because a lot of the water gets stored in that tuber and it can last a long time <clears throat> so what we want to do is start sending this energy back down into the root system so that way that tuber begins to grow. How to do that is by popping the top. And now I'm gonna bring this all the way back essentially to the first leaf. And what I did was I cut it about midway through and you can see here that there's already a little piece that's coming in. And that's where the branch is going to end up growing two new stems right there. There's a baby stem forming there and a baby stem forming there. Those are going to form two new stems and this stem is going to die back in the middle and this tree potentially would grow two stems right there. Now if you cut it back below the first leaf down here underneath this, what's going to happen is it will potentially uh, regrow a whole new stem. So this entire stem 
may die if you cut it below the first leaf. This stem may completely die. If you cut it above the first leaf, you potentially have two new stems that'll form, which is cool. I love that. It's like Medusa. Take one top off and she makes two more. So we're going to do that pretty much for all 3,000 of these little babies in here. Check it out. Yep. So we'll get started. Just wanted to show you some tips and tricks and also so you can see your trees. Uh, these will be available on the website here uh, within the next week and we're going to be sending them out in the starter kits. The Moringa Tree Starter Kits. Beautiful, really, really high quality trees. I've been watering them about two times a day. I've been feeding them every two weeks with the Moringa Bio Stimulant. It's starting to get really hot in here. All the yellowing is from the very first set, right, that I was mentioning. That very first set of leaf. Those are going to come off. They're going to yellow first. They don't last very long. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to cut it in the middle of that first stem. And I'm going to do that to all of these tops. So that way the trees begin to put that energy back down into the root and come back up with a thicker stem. This is going to be even thicker now. And that's what's really important here is to create a more thicker, resilient, shorter tree that's not just stretching out too tall, especially so we can fit them in the box uh, to uh, to get to you so that way you can begin to grow them and you can grow them any way that you like. A little bit of weeds coming in, but it's no problem. I actually just planted a few more seeds here. This was a, kind of like a bald spot. They all just sprouted last week, so they're all coming up now. They're a little bit darker because they haven't been... Um, they're not as old. Like I was saying, these, these first stems are the first ones that, that get yellow. And so we'll just keep popping all these tops back. All these stems are going to thicken up now. And within another week or so, we'll be able to ship them out the door. So uh, check us out, growmoringa.com. Click the shop button and check us out. If you want to learn more about how you can make some extra income from Moringa, join the Grow Moringa Collective. Sign up today. Peace and love. Okay, all tops are popped. All the way down. There's lots of yellows. But it's okay because all these babies are going to sprout all new stems. And we're preparing to ship these in the mail very soon you can actually grab your Mar Moringa Tree Starter Kits using the link in the description. We'll have these trees ready for shipping. Probably within another couple days, about a week. Get your order in now. You'll be one of the first ones to receive your starter kit for the season. And you'll get a head start on growing Moringa in your backyard. They're coming soon. Thanks for watching. Peace and love. All the tops are popped. And they're gonna start pushing out all new green growth right after they push energy down into the root system, plumping up the root system, coming back to have even thicker stems. So that way they have a really nice root system and we can get them shipped. So that way they don't, they don't die. We don't wanna put them in the mail until they have a really good solid root system. So that way when they arrive to you, they survive. And you already have a head start. Like a, like a three to four month head start. You know, checking the stiffness, the thickness, they're gonna come back even thicker now that all the tops are popped. And that'll, that'll help push these babies even bigger. See, like these just popped up. These are a lot younger than these ones, so I barely even topped those. These ones are also a lot younger. 
It just came up. Still need to kind of fill in that little patch. And here pretty soon, once I start pulling these out and have more patches, I'll just start adding more soil, adding more seeds, and keep the process going. Let's get these babies fed. Wonderful. And we're back in action. Now that all the trees have been popped, we can feed them and prepare for the final leg of their journey before heading to you in the mail. So what we're gonna do is feed our little babies. Now that it's been about two weeks, I just charged this baby up. A nice electric feeder that puts about two, two gallons, about two gallons. So let's first put our biostimulant in there. This makes about four to five gallons. So I'm just gonna put half of this bottle in here. And you can weigh and also weigh out smaller amounts using this little dripper here. But that's about half a bottle, so I'm just gonna put that in there. Okay, lovely. Put this baby back on the pressure. All right. That's what we want to see, a nice flow. I just watered these babies for about 20 minutes. And so now this food is easily spreadable. So I'm just going to go ahead and spread half of this now on all these babies. And I'll get the other half over here. Doesn't take much. It's, it's all about consistency. So you got to just keep up with this every two weeks to continue feeding and having a more consistent growth without them stressing out too much and making sure that they're watered really well. <clears throat> oh good, this is going to be plenty. Now that this is really well watered, a, a little bit goes a long way. This is live living microorganisms that we're putting directly into the soil and nitrogen and vitamins and minerals and phosphorus and zinc and all the little things, iron, that the plants need to have really healthy stems and green growth. Look at that, that's perfect. Nice. Watch, by tomorrow all of these leaves that are yellow or dying out or whitening out, those will all fall off and these trees will be pushing out all new green growth, which will tell me that their root systems are going to be doubling in size. That's what we really want. We want the root systems to really double in size. And that's it. So pretty soon, these are all going to be shipped in the mail. All the tops have been popped. Now they're really well fed. Thanks to the Moringa. All right. That's it. Thank you very much for watching and subscribing to the Grow Moringa YouTube channel, as well as liking this video. Let us know in the comments below if you have any suggestions. And um, if you look forward to purchasing the Moringa Tree Starter Kits, where these trees are going to be put in, you can actually grab them now on pre-sale using the link below. We'll we're gonna start shipping them in about two weeks, but you can start ordering them now, getting on the wait list, and as soon as we're shipping them, they're gonna go out the door. So within the next two weeks, these are gonna start shipping out. You can order now 
and get on the wait list so that way you're the first ones to receive your starter kits as soon as they're ready to go.